Hey musties! So the second trailer for Godzilla and Kong The New Empire just dropped. I didn't review the first trailer because I was going through some changes with the MonsterVerse, at least the way I perceive it. Honestly, when Godzilla 2014 came out, uh, there was an expectation that Godzilla was going to be intimidating. We were supposed to feel that Godzilla presence and Godzilla was supposed to be taken seriously by a general audience. And when Godzilla 2014 came out, it kind of missed the target. Um, they kept Godzilla hidden too long. And then for the sequels and the Kong spinoff, they went the opposite direction. They immediately went full Showa era crazy. While they were fun, all of them, my heart sunk. And I just, I just wanted the general public to see Godzilla the way I saw Godzilla. And I felt like Hollywood would have been the best chance for that. And boy, was I wrong. And so I wasn't really too excited for anything new from the MonsterVerse. Godzilla Minus One came out and it was critically acclaimed and pretty well received for a foreign film. I think I've gotten to the point now where I'm okay with the MonsterVerse being silly because I've always loved silly Godzilla. Um, I still go back and watch Son of Godzilla. It's just, it's not my preference. But now that we've had our piece with Godzilla Minus One, I feel like I'm okay for something crazy. So let's take a look at the second trailer. We saw this, well, this is more of an extended shot, but we saw this in the first trailer, I believe. That water looked good. It's so crazy already. We've discovered a signal. Like visually, it's very appealing just seeing Godzilla swimming up that river channel. But it's still so cartoony looking. Godzilla. They can feel it too. Something is coming. Ooh. Something even they're afraid of. I guess that's before he evolves, his whole body's looking blue, like it's ready to crack and like an esco escoskeleton. The baby Kong has such a chibi head looking. It's silly. Whoa! That many Kongs? Okay, that had to be a flashback, right? He won't be alone. The last time those two met up it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. Oh, they're still fighting? He blasted through the pyramid. Now I have seen everything. Is that a crab claw? It looks like one of the crabs from the Skull Island anime. We've made some minor augmentations. Oh. Whoa! March 29th. Okay, that's coming up really soon. And as much as I want to like watch that again, I think I'm going to wait. So hopefully I forget most of that. So I'm going to be surprised when I see that again in theater. The whiplash thing, like grabbing onto a skyscraper and hurling it. <laughs> and I love this new Godzilla Evolved design. Um, it's not my favorite. It's far from it. But I like how it's more of a dragon look to it. My biggest concern is the way they handled Mecha Godzilla and just the future of the MonsterVerse in general and stuff. Um, 
as from what I understand is that um, Legendary has to buy each Godzilla character individually. It's not like a combo deal, and I guess they're all pretty pricey. Mecha Godzilla was awesome. I didn't like his design that much, and they really did not use him though. Like Godzilla versus Kong should have been his own thing. We didn't need a new monster to show up. You know, they could have found a way to write that resolution and then save Mecha Godzilla for this movie or something like that. So I feel like we need more Mecha Godzilla to do him justice. But I also am concerned that you know they're trying to save money, obviously, and they don't want to buy any more Godzilla character rights right now. I mean, eventually they're going to have to. But I mean, Godzilla versus Kong is pretty much as big as you can get. Where does this franchise go from here? I mean, so they're they can make endless amounts of all new monsters. That's almost free, you know. I mean, you have to pay to somebody to design them and stuff like that, but. You can't keep carrying this franchise on after you've already had Godzilla vs. Kong. Scar King is really just a generic Kong knockoff. Shimu, Shimo, whatever, is going to be a generic sort of Godzilla knockoff. I mean, you already have the rights to Godzilla, so why not just do a Godzilla vs. Godzilla movie? You know, two Godzillas have them completely different designs, fight each other. They could have done that for Godzilla vs. Kong, actually. Instead of having Mecha Godzilla up here, have a, a different Godzilla up here or something like that, and have them team up to take down the bigger threat Godzilla. That way you can have an evil Godzilla and this uh, anti-hero Godzilla that we are usually stuck with in the MonsterVerse. They're still going to have to dip into more Toho monsters to keep this franchise afloat, because as much as people like Godzilla, we are going to get burnt out eventually with just having the generic no-name characters, you know? And they're going to have to cross over with something else eventually. Like, I see Pacific Rim is super popular on Netflix all of a sudden. Maybe that franchise can get revived and have that crossover. Um, if you do something like different universes where, like, you know, Pacific Rim can go through the Pacific Rim and then enter a different universe. You know, you could use that Pacific Rim to bring over Cloverfield from a different universe or hopefully Gamera at some point. You know, we have to have something else. And I'm really concerned about that for the future of this franchise. I see some of the human characters are returning. I really don't have anything to say about that. Um, I didn't get to see the Apple TV series. And I heard that like that was like a lot better for the human characters. But this looks like it's just going to be more of the same. But let me know what your thoughts on this. Are you at peace with the uh, MonsterVerse? Or does the MonsterVerse um, disappoint you even more now that now that we've had uh, Godzilla Minus One? I did notice like a lot of Godzilla and Kong toys sold out almost immediately. I wonder if that was hype for this movie or if that was just um, scalpers thinking that this is somehow connected to Godzilla Minus One and thinking that this is going to be hot selling merchandise based off of Godzilla Minus One. But thanks for watching.